Well, my friends, the patch notes for 510.3 are here. Let's take a look. Ooh, content and some cool changes coming our way. Hello my friends, Boomy here once again with another video for you, my Sotor brothers and sisters. How is everyone doing today? And if it's your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button because if you do, ooh yeah, the Jawas won't let your significant other know your search history. That's right. My friends, welcome. Ooh boy, oh boy, oh boy. New content, content patch, new planet, Dan Tween. It is here, it is coming very shortly. And there's a lot to go on. Plus we have some events coming on, the Nashada life event or nightlife event uh, that is going on. The big credit sink of the galaxy, that's gonna be happening soon. Plus double XP and CXP and all that jazz, which will give us enough time, hopefully to go in there and get as much as we can done with the CXP uh, there and get all the achievements and all the titles and all the stuff right there before a lot of that goes away like we talked about in my previous video yesterday about the Galactic Renowned coming into play soon. My friends, let's take a look at what Dan Tween, the pirate incursion, a Dan Tween incursion has for us uh, tomorrow or whenever you see this video because by the time you see it, it's already here. So let's just get to it, okay? Let's just do that. Okay, bye. And here we go, the highlights of this new planet on Dan Tween. That's true, that's right. With the renewed war between the Galactic Republic and the Sith Empire, the remote planet of Dantooine has become the next stage in this growth conflict. In new in-game event, the Pirate Incursion. Hello, yay, we got a new event. Finally, it's only been like 20,000 years. This new recurring in-game event will take place on Dantooine as the Republic, Empire, and Nova Blade Pirates vie for control of the planet. The Sith will win, of course. <laughs> new daily and heroic missions, new rewards, and more. This event will run twice, from June 4th to June 11th, and again from June 11th to June 18th. So we're going to have plenty of time to go in there and have all the fun that we need to have in this game right here. After that, it will be a standard recurring event like all the others, you know, the Gree event, the Rakul event, so on and so forth. And the new planetary transitions, Alderaan, Corellia. Now, they talked about this at the Star Wars Cantina, or SOTOR Cantina, uh, with the new transition um, animations for it. So, I'm looking forward to this. Alderaan, Corellia, Hoth, Korriban, Tython, and many more planets have had their arrivals updated. Travel the galaxy in your favorite starship and see these planets like never before. Also, like I said, the double event is coming. Earn double XP, command XP, and more from June 11th to June 8th. I would have to say that I kind of think they should run something like this um, uh, maybe a month before the expansion goes live so people can get to where they need to get to, especially in the CXP, in the command, um, the Galactic Command uh, area right there. Um, I think I'll, I'll think what I'll do is I will uh, offer my opinion in that one. Like I said, the N Nar Shada Nightlife event is going. It returns with new rewards. Get your credits ready for June 18th through July 30th. That's right. You heard it here. They are, it is going to be here for quite a while. Uh, but hey, my only beef with the nightlife event, and we'll talk more about it when it gets here. I feel like there needs to be more more uh, quests with it. Uh, the rewards are pretty good. I'm not. I'm not going to say they're not. And one of the new things they are doing with the uh, Nar Shada Night Le Night uh, Night Life. What my words is the cartel certificates will also drop from uh, the high roller. Uh, machines as well so that's something new that is coming down the pipeline uh, but yeah I hope they they re -beef it up I think there needs to be more than just a um, quest line for you to do I think that'd be really cool if you had like a smuggler type storyline going on there that everyone can do but let's continue on in the patches and the highlights and see what all we got there the general stuff yes right corrected an issue where in some situations weekly conquest objectives and targets would reset Players who deposit credits into the guild bank will no longer be dropped to character select in rare circumstances. Sorry, man. Your money's not good enough. Players can now travel to any stronghold from the Tatooine stronghold terminal as intended. It was recently discovered that wall art depicting the Jedi Code on Osis was written out of order. 
The Jedi have launched an investigation into this error, which has now been corrected. They were blind and drunk. That's what happened. Combining the Guildperk Mount Improvements 3 will imp with improved speeder piloting 5 no longer shows some mounts. Using a disconnect ability while transformed into Skava on Iocath now properly turns the player to their normal form. Quick travel, emergency fleet pass. I don't ever use emergency fleet pass. And all priority transports now play their full animation when used. A character's weapons will no longer float in front of the character when they are revived. That would be kind of weird, dude. It's like, it's like the force is waiting for you. Players can no longer end up stuck off the train in the Umbara stronghold in some situations. Players can now preview items from their guild bank. That's nice. Many stronghold centerpiece hooks now have the additional hook slots for varying sizes in addition to functioning as a centerpiece hook. The drop rate for item rating 252 and 258 items along with masterwork crystals has been increased for the command crates. A percentage of all experience earned is now converted into conquest points. Now, this is something we, I talked about in the video uh, previous to this one uh, that we launched yesterday, where um, this is something that's going to be rolling into Onslaught, but this is coming a little early for the conquest to where whatever you do, whatnot, the percentage of all experience earned is now converted into conquest points. These are going uh, there. Now to the next one, a percentage of all experience, like I said, but the multiplier for earning conquest points in a guild has been reduced to two times, down from three. They, they note here saying, although this is a nerf of the multiplier for conquest in guilds, an average player should not see a reduction in conquest points earned due, due to the XP to conquest point change. Active players should see increased conquest points, earn, conquest points earned over all. So there you have it. There were some of the highlights right there. We have some, not too much class stuff going on. Nothing too major to rock the world with. And of course they have tons of uh, fixes for some NPCs for quests and some little things down there as well. But we have the nightlife event that is coming. We have the pirate incursion event that's running for two weeks. We have the CXP and XP bonus, uh, double bonus going there. Like I said, man, I still, tw I, I really miss the 12 times XP. Wouldn't that be awesome if we can bring back the 12 times XP and 12 times CXP? Just saying, I think that would be great. Make a note. Talk to Eric. Yes. Uh, but yeah, a lot coming on. We got a brand new planet, some stuff that we don't know about. Even on the PTS, they hid some stuff from us. So there's going to be a little story there, not too much. They've been teasing that a little bit, but nothing, hope, nothing major. I guess we'll find out. Maybe Darth Maul came back to life. Yes. Who knows? I don't know. It could be a thing, okay? Uh, but yeah, so they said there will also be secrets on the planet and Easter eggs as well. So also remember that even though uh, the event is when the event is not going on, you can still travel to Dantooine and travel on it kind of unimpeded since the war will not be going on. And that only kind of goes on during the event. So that is really cool and awesome. I'm really happy they do that. I kind of wish they would do that with something like with the Raccool tunnels. You can explore when all the Rac Raccools are like, I don't know, on vacation, sleeping or something. That, I think that'd be kind of cool if they hid like some Easter eggs in there as well. Uh, but yeah, anyways, my friends, let me know your comments in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on all these things as well. Are you excited for Dan Tween? I'll be able to go on there and get all the fun stuff and all the awesome decos and some reskin armors and uh, other things that they will have there as well and like i said like you know like we always say if it's on a pts everything is subject to change there might be some new stuff that we never saw and i hope there is because we will report on it my friends not a problem anyways my friends make sure you hit that like button if you like what you see here and if you really like what you see here make sure you hit that subscribe button become part of the family here at Boomy nation the freak show of youtube the black sheep of gaming and as always, my friends, remember to be kind. It's about community. And we'll see you later. Good day.